eat bananas every time I want a meal. I eat bananas, ripe bananas, yeah, bananas have a peel. Bananas, so fine. Bananas, all mine. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Himself. Welcome to the treehouse, table for one. Let me see what I have. Yes, for that, no salad bar for you. I demand that you stop this confounded noise immediately. It's not noise, it's music. Perhaps to a tone-deaf bug thing like you, but to my sensitive ears, it's noise pollution. I used to wish I could play the drums. Now I wish you could. Stop that, it's annoying. Well, you're the expert. Why can't you be quiet? Like your little pet. Uh-huh. Quit playing those drums! Back off, Tyrannicus. This is a free country. Gabubu has the right to play his music. And if you don't like it, you have the right to go home, you baffle-gabbing blowhard! Excuse me? Ticky-tacky tiger! You're nothing but a tasteless, toothless troublemaker! Oh! Oh! Oh, you've crossed the line this time. I'm finished with you once and for all. And your little dog, too. What I do? Woof. I want those stink bugs out of Animalia now. They don't belong here. They need to go. That's not your call, Tyrannicus. But the dark-haired one actually called me Tacky. Me, Tacky. I won't stand for it. But you're always buzzing Kabubu around. Yeah. Because he's keeping me awake with that noise of his. Yeah. You don't own the rainforest, T-Bone. Leave them alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Livy, if you don't want to get rid of the stink bugs yourself, no prob. I'll handle it. Animalia is a land for all animals, and that includes humans. They're staying. Ooh, Tiggy Tacky Tiger, huh? You have not heard the last of this. Was it something I said? Gee, do you think? I'm telling you, Fuchsia, those little Batinskis have crossed me for the last time. Oh, what are you planning? Their permanent removal. Ooh, I'll call you back. Hey, Stripes! <laughs> uh, it's Tyrannicus now, not Stripes, just so you know. <laughs> sure, whatever. And if anyone asks, you haven't seen me. I, I don't exist. I'm a ghost, right? Uh, definitely. A creepy ghost. Right. So, you want those humans out of here, huh? The girl called me Taggy. That's the last straw. Will you help me? Sure. But there are conditions. Like what? Like, you need to follow my directions to the letter. Agreed? Agreed. Now, here's phase one. Special report live from the home of Tyrannicus for this breaking story. Due to the local stink bug infestation, which has no end in sight, I've decided to leave Animalia to start a new life in my adopted homeland of Tyrannia. Huh? It's a place that is chock full of liberty and justice and all sorts of other good stuff. Plus, it's stink bug free. <laughs> Exactly where is Tyrannia? You're looking at it. I plant this flag in the name of the unstinky republic of Tyrannia. Tiger Boy just turned his front yard into a new country. Can he do that? Animalians can do as they please as long as they don't bother anyone. Tyrannicus doesn't bother anyone? No, he bothers everyone. And there you have it. Tyrannia has become its own nation. How will this impact our lives? What will happen next? And the biggest question of all, how do I do this with my eyebrows? This is Melford Mouse. <sighs> and Melba Misley reporting. So you think this will work? It has to work. We need those kids out of the way if we're to achieve our goal. What do you mean, our goal? The overthrow of Animalia. 
Wait, I thought this was about... You have a problem with taking over Animalia? Come to think of it... No! <laughs> Good. Once we move into Phase 2, you can kiss those stink bugs goodbye. And Phase 2 would be... Uh... Stripes, in my travels, I've discovered a word that's not known in Animalia. A word that, when used at the right time, can be very powerful. I want you to use this word, and with it, our overthrow will begin. What's that mean? Oh, oh, horrible, that's awful. That is one ugly word. I, I don't know if I can do it. With that word, we will rule. I'll do it. My fellow Tyrannians and friends, last night, in an act of verbal hostility, the Animalian stink bug named Zoe called me, among other things, a tiggy taggy tiger. This insult cannot go unanswered. Since Animalia's leader refuses to banish the stink bugs, Tyrannia is left with no choice but to declare war on Animalia. What? 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 This is war! Don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah. We're in trouble now. Yeah. This is my fault, isn't it? Uh... Yeah. Just one question. What was that last thing he said? This is war. Yeah, war. What's that mean? War. That's the word that has thrown Animalia into chaos today as the leader of the new nation of Tyrannia declared... This is war! And at that very same moment, the core lost another core spore. I fear that the missing core spore may be related to war. Animalians are talking about nothing but... And they're all saying pretty much the same thing. Uh, what's war? Let me tell you, I know war. War, she's what happens after you eat a lot of popcorn with too much butter plus many malted milk balls and some fizzy sodas. Then your stomach goes, war, war, war. And you need to lie down and not move for many hours. That is war. Not even close, am I? No. None of you have ever heard of war before? It's not in the Animalian Dictionary. I guess that makes sense. War is sort of a human invention. So, what is it? Well, a war is a fight between entire nations. Each nation has an army, and one nation battles the other. Why? It usually starts when two sides argue, and it turns into a war, and they fight until one side wins. How do you win? By living through it. You mean, in war, lives are lost? <laughs> I'm dead set against it. We're all against it. Animalia is a peaceful society. Don't sweat it. To have a war, you need an army, and Tyrannicus doesn't have one. He's the only citizen of his goofy country. He'll never pull an army together. My friends, your new home awaits in Tyrannia. We already have a home. In Tyrannia, there's equality for all. We're equal in Animalia. In Tyrannia, the laws are fair. We like Animalia's laws. In Tyrannia, every morning, there's a free pancake breakfast. Well, now you're talking. Swimming in maple syrup. Tyrannia forever. Pancakes. OK, so maybe he can pull an army together. This is getting serious. The missing core spore must be the one that keeps the peace. So if we restore that core spore, we can stop the war? Let's hope. This is all my fault. I'm the one who riled up Tyrannicus. I should just leave. Spare all of you the trouble. I appreciate the offer, Zoe, but it takes two to argue. You can't take all the blame. Let's recover the core spore first, then we'll see what happens. I think we found where to search. Long ago, Animalians declared that they would live in peace forever. This peace agreement was signed in a place known as Peaceful Valley. So maybe the core spore of peace went home. 
to Peaceful Valley? Let's roll! I've got to hand it to you, Wheeze. That one word worked wonders. I told you. That word packs a wallop. Now, phase three. We need to find that spore that flew. The core spore of peace. If we control the peace, then we control the war. I'm all over it. My operatives are shadowing the search party. Once the core spore is spotted, my boys will swoop in and grab it. View, though. Well, what about our future? What's going to happen with it? You have my promise that we're doing everything possible to avert this war. What do we do? What if we get attacked? How do we defend ourselves? War is not an option. At this very moment, we're searching for a way to restore the peace. Oh, Corspor! Come out, come out, wherever you are! I sure messed things up this time. You're not the one who declared war. Tyrannicus did. Yeah, but I provoked him. I need to learn when to shut my yapper. If we find the core spore and the war gets called off, no prob. And if we don't? Uh, don't go there. I may have to leave, you know. We may both have to leave. I know. I'm sorry, Alex. Just keep looking. Oh, hello, amphibian thing. Have you perchance seen a shiny object during your recent hoppings? Would that be a yes, a no, or a maybe? I am thinking maybe yes! No? Good work, all of you. Especially you two. What he said. Now, let's see what's inside. A pen? What does that have to do with peace? Ours is not to wonder what for. Ours is to put it back in the core. Cervantes! It doesn't fit. Well, that's not good. Oh, wait! There's something written here. In some language I've never seen before. We'll need to translate it. Well, make it quick. I don't think we have much time left. <sighs> I told you we needed that course bar. Sorry, my operatives took a wrong turn. It was a mistake. No, more mistakes! Promise. I didn't want it to come to this, but I guess we have no choice. You know what you need to do. What? Actually go to war? No way! Someone could get hurt. Worse yet, I could get hurt. Uh, you won't. At least, not with this. The Sword of Victory! Where'd you get that? I have my sources. But I can't! I don't Calm know... Calm down! Here's all you need to do. <laughs> oh, close, but not close enough. The gators and hugs are siding with Tyrannicus. How do we win them back? Come up with a really good pancake recipe. My fellow Tyrannians, victory will be ours! <laughs> Okay, how do I put this just the right way? Oh, I know. <clears throat> we are doomed. Not yet, Iggy. The way I see it, we have three choices. Go to war, and by the looks of it, probably lose. Oh, that sounds bad. Surrender and become part of Tyrannia. That sounds bad, too. Or come up with a peace treaty. That sounds good. In a last-ditch effort to avert war, the leaders of Animalia and Tyrannia have agreed to meet. We now join the peace talks already in progress. So, what's it going to take to call off this foolishness? The stink bugs need to go. I can't do that. All creatures are free to live here in peace. Then there will be no peace. We'll leave Livingston. It's not worth a war. Exactly. Listen to the little stink puppy. I'm not a pet. No, Alex. We simply can't bow to the demands of a tyrant. 
Very well. I'll meet you on the field of battle tomorrow at dawn. We don't have a field of battle. Then how about that nice grassy area in front of the library? I suppose. We fight at dawn. Sunrise in Animalia, on the day war begins. And the day my eyebrows look sad. Iggy the Iguana reporting for duty. I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, sweat, and lots of terrified screaming. Together we shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. Unless things get scary, then you'll find me hiding under an end table. Iggy, give it up. All of you, we can't do this. War is not the answer. Besides, we don't even have weapons to defend ourselves. Not so. I have assembled a veritable arsenal of powerful and tricky weapons. Behold. What do we do with all this? When the enemy comes too close, we throw it at them. Fellow Tyrannians, to inspire you in battle today, I present our new national anthem, composed by Allegra. Oh, Tyrannia, I'm a fannia. It's a country with the plannia. Tyrannia, it's the best because it bakes the very best pancakes. It's the landia of yum yum for Tyrannia. Let's hum. <laughs> Another new national anthem. I think you found it, big guy. That stands for pen. Oh, yeah, we're cooking now. Alex, we can't let this happen. We have to stop it. Looks like we don't have much of a choice. Then you know what we need to do. Animalia forever! I guess this is the big finale. It sure is. So long, Livingston. You're the best. Zoe, what are you doing? Leaving. I'm not letting my friends get hurt if I can do something about it. Alex, let's go! One sec, we're almost finished. Found it! You are a big, green, hairy hero! We've translated the inscription on the pen. So what's it say? <clears throat> the pen is mightier than the sword. What's that supposed to mean? With this mighty sword, I will leave my forces to victory! The pen is mightier than the sword. I don't get it. How could a pen be mightier than a sword? I think I know. If words can start a war, then maybe words can stop a war. I started this mess with the words I spoke. Now I need to finish it with the words I write. Line up, troops. Time to follow your leader into battle. Not until we have our brekkie. Fuchsia, why haven't the Tyrannians been fed? Bad news, I'm afraid. We are out of pancake batter. Perfect. Where's my hearty breakfast at? Um, that can wait until after the battle. Then we'll have a nice brunch, what do you say? No way, stripy shorts. No pancakes, no deal. Yeah! yeah! Looks like you'll need to fight this battle on your own. Fine. You want something done right around the zoo? Do it yourself. the answer to that. Then prepare to stop! What now, you puny stink bug? You want to fight me? How? With what? With this. Here. Huh? Dear Tyrannicus, I was wrong to call you names and treat you with disrespect. I want to apologize for my words and actions. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. 
I'm truly sorry. Sincerely, Zoe. P.S. You're not really tacky. I... <clears throat> I don't know what to say. It's a miracle. Tyrannicus is speechless. <laughs> About calling you a tone-deaf bug, uh, <clears throat> sorry uh, about that and about the whole war thing. It wasn't just you. I introduced the word and, and pushed it forward, so uh, my bad. Truce? Truce. You know, if you hadn't shown up, I could have done some major damage with this baby. Then again... I think it is, how you say, broken? <laughs> Today, the nation of Tyrania dissolved and again became part of Animalia for one very good reason. No more pancake batter. At the peace table, a treaty was signed stating that all those living in Animalia will treat others with respect. And all will tolerate the musical expression of others. And now that peace has been restored to Animalia, my eyebrows are happy again. You know, I underestimated you, Stripes. Really? Oh, yeah. You're a much bigger disappointment than I could have possibly imagined. Thanks, Wheeze. Here's your sword back. I think it's busted. I give you a word that can lead us to power, and what do you do? You squander it. Oh, well, now I have a word for you. Maybe one you haven't heard before. And that word is no. No. No, as in no war. If war is your idea of how to get rid of stink bugs and take over Animalia, then include me out. I won't forget this, Stripes. You owe me. You hear that? You owe me. Ah, oh, the sweet sound of Animalia. I go bananas, for right bananas, every time I want a meal. I eat bananas. Sweet sound of peace. Bananas, so fine. Bananas, oh my.